All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another video. Um, today, we are gonna be installing a clutch bay layer dual disc right here. It's their ceramic dual disc um, for an NV5600. We already have the adapter plate bolted up right here. Got those torqued down. And so now I'm actually waiting for my dad to go get back with a 12 point socket that I don't have. Um, you can see these right here that yeah, they're 12 point and I don't have the correct size. They're three eighths. So then we'll get this top part of the uh, clutch pulled off, exposing just the flywheel. And then we'll put these new flywheel bolts, mount that to the back of the engine for the adapter plate. And then we will set in the rest of the clutch and, uh, the dual disc and clutch plates. A little bit of story behind which clutch I've got. Um, I got the ceramic because I want something that can hold around 700 horsepower. And that's the goal for the truck right now. Um, I almost went organic, but it was right on that borderline of holding all the power that I want or, you know, having to step up. So in the kit, you get your clutch, you get your alignment tool right here get a new pivot uh pivot fork right there shift fork you also get a throw out bearing right here and then you get a new flywheel and new clutch itself so this one came straight from valair ordered it right off the or actually i called and ordered it and so it was two days to ship it and then just super simple process uh i had a valair dual disc in my 07 g56 truck six seven uh that was a quiet version uh i don't really care how loud it is so for what the money or for what i paid for this one's gonna do exactly what i want it um it's gonna hold the power that i need it to hold so yeah i mean we're just gonna get this all thrown together um we do actually have to come over here and pull out the transmission from under here we have everything right there so We'll get that pulled out and then we'll uh, assemble the shift fork and the throw out bearing. And then from there, um, we'll get this frame and the truck orient or kind of moved around in the shop where we can pull the tractor through and set the transmission in and then transfer case and then get the cross mirror bolted up. So that's the plan for today. Um, right now, we're just waiting on a tool or a socket to uh, pull the clutch apart so we can get the uh, flywheel mounted on the back of the engine so stay tuned and then for the adapter plate i went ahead and painted it so it looks really good i had some metallic paint that uh, was just kind of laying around and i was like you know what why not just paint it this color and call it good so it looks good pairs real nice with the uh the monaco red and the billet so so we got the clutch pulled apart right now uh it's sitting here on the table so we have the flywheel, we have the pressure plate turned over, we have the in inner uh, disc separator plate, and then our outer disc. And so, uh, per Veilers instructions, uh, you need to spray the uh, flywheel surface down with brake cleaner and also the pressure plate uh, surface down with brake cleaner. So, from here, we're going to set the flywheel on the uh, back of the engine and the adapter plate. Um, Swiss has torqued those down to 102 foot-pounds, uh, these bolts right here. So we'll get that thrown on there, and then we'll get everything kind of stabbed in there. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll, be, able to, we'll be able to set the transmission in and, uh, and call it good. But, yeah. <laughs>
All right, so we got the flywheel installed. Uh, torqued them down to 102 foot-pounds, these uh, bolts right here. Um, then from here, we'll start putting the first disc in, the separator plate, and then the uh, second disc, and then the pressure plate, torque all that down. And the clutch on this side will be assembled on the engine side. Um, then we'll get the transmission, we'll get the uh, shift fork, and then the, uh, the throwout bearing put on, and then also delete that uh, washer where the pivot ball goes. So, yeah, it's going smooth. Um, super easy to work on it when you actually get to just sit here inside of the truck. You're not having to worry about uh, reaching up there with a bunch of extensions if you have it up on lift or just super easy. Uh, install's going smooth, so yeah, there's nothing really to complain about, you know. Super easy working inside a frame. Uh, so, yeah, we'll go ahead and get the rest of this thrown together and uh, I'll put you back on time lapse. So. All right, hey guys, catch it up right here. It's uh, actually quite a good bit after uh, the last update. So what we ran into is, I'll show you real quick. So this is the one that's open, but we ended up getting, I ended up getting one of the pressure plate bolts cross-threaded. And so it kind of ate up the threads. So coming over here, you can kind of see what it did. And so it didn't feel like it was cross there until about halfway in. And I don't know if there was something caught in the uh, the flywheel hole where the bolt threads into. And then it started eating up threads. But trying to get it out without breaking it, that was, that was pretty tough. We just went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until finally it started threading itself out. And it ate up the end of the bolt. But we didn't snap it off in the flywheel. So that's good. Um, everything else is torqued down to spec or not torqued down. Everything is snugged up tight. Got the alignment tool. That one, we got it pretty good. It'll just pop out like that. <laughs> so we got everything aligned. So now we just, I got to go get another bolt. That's, um, forget what the thread was. The tap should tell us it was a three eights by 16 so ended up really didn't even have to tap a hole all we did was or all i had to do instead of actually have to tap a hole was just chase the threads it went in there real easily so it looks like only only the bolt threads were sheared off um in that process so 
But yeah, just a little bit of a snag and hang up. But other than that, it's going smoothly. I will run to town and get a replacement bolt for this. And then we will have the clutch. Okay, guys, so fast forward. I actually got everything put together. Uh, we got the clutch all bolted up. So on this little hiccup right here, I ended up just going back with a grade eight uh, parts store or hardware store did not have anything special like that. So I just went back with a grade eight with a locking nut, torqued everything down to 44 foot pounds, uh, alignment pull tool, alignment tool is all good. So after that, I ended up working on the transmission. So going back to the transmission, let me grab a light real quick. So on the transmission, I removed the washer behind the pivot wall, retain or used the uh, old pivot wall clip, new throw out bearing, clip that into the shift fork. And other than that, that's, that's all it really is to it. Um, nothing too crazy. Right now, I'm just getting ready to figure out the best way of putting this or getting this stab behind the uh, engine right now. We do have the transfer case right here so this has been rebuilt that's been rebuilt all new internals so basically a brand new mv5600 uh six speed so what i'm thinking about doing is we came in this door with the tractor right and set the engine into the frame what i'm thinking about doing is taking this frame and running it this way the length or the width of the shop and then driving the tractor straight and setting it in here sideways just use two uh ratchet straps one on the transmission right here right here so put one right there and put one on the back and then that way that way i can easily line it up move it where i need it to go so we can stab all the uh the bell housing bolts in there but other than that that's kind of that's kind of where we're at. I don't know if I want to do a separate video for putting the transmission in. I don't think it's going to take too much. Uh, the clutch took a little bit longer than I thought because of the uh, the bolt thread issue and the cross thread. But other than that, smooth install. Um, everything's good to go. All right, hey guys. So now we got the frame turned around. We got Lucas back helping us. Uh, so we got the transmission sitting right here. We're gonna run two straps, one on the front, one on the back, and we're just gonna pick it up and drop it right here. I wanna put the floor jack right here and then kinda of get it to the same angle as the engine and then we'll play with it and we'll get it all lined up so we can uh, start the uh, bolts to the bell housing. So that's kind of where we're at. We've been cranking out the work today. Uh, we got the tractor coming into the shop right there. Dad's driving the tractor, so we'll get this stabbed in. I'll set you up on a tripod and time-lapse it, and we'll go from there.